Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him! Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer, for fuck's sake. Killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them! And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. He was a suspect, and I needed answers. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. Bluebeard, please. What's that supposed to mean? That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Huh? Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's mother? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Ah. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you free. He's panicking now. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say. 
You're an asshole. <laughs> and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. We know what happened. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Him. Get him so out of we can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. I think I should Someone decide. needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Or maybe a vote. Yes. Yeah. Democracy. A vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Ooh. That makes sense to me. Ooh -hoo, does does it now? Okay. Fine. <laughs> Are you sure? This isn't oh, so like a choice. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Please give me some time. Just do what you think is right. Give me some time. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think oh. is right. Oh. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. Time is ticking a bit quicker. Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Ah! Too slow! Ah! I was about to climb down the well! There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. Ah, changed my mind. You're gonna rot, buddy. Death is too quick. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. he's done. You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Oh. How is that? Not what I was expecting. Oh. Morning. Crooked man. <laughs> He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you going to come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is 
is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. <laughs> He's changed his tune. Very polite for a change. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Um... Jesus. Off to the farm. By the looks of it, we only have like five minutes. Uh, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh... I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice, so... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. <laughs> must have run off. Shit. <laughs> oh, dear. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some 
Leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them, could at least save the rest of us. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just... Not enough for her, or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the Crooked Man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Mm. 
I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh. And there we have it. Oh! <laughs> Player choices! Okay. What did you do to Georgie? I was in the minority. Killed him, put him out of his misery. A lot of us gave uh, the crooked man a trial, took him back alive. Almost 50-50 in terms of how we handled him. Imprisoning, imprisoning him, him, excuse me. Uh, accepting the gift. 94.7% of players decided to accept the gift. And me and 28.6% of other players said I've made a lot of mistakes. Becoming a little bit self-reflective at the end there all the times he's punched somebody and hit somebody and you know a bit of violence showing through the ruthless streak coming through got there in the end or did it special stats beast you lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment beauty you promised her you wouldn't tell beast that you saw her outside the apartment and you impressed her with your detective skills. We beat up the butcher during the interrogation. Gave Colin a drink in the apartment when he asked for one. And we helped him to avoid the farm. We slapped Crane. <laughs> Took him back to the witching well and imprisoned him, the crooked man. D. Chose to burn him with a cigar during the interrogation. And confiscated his money while in custody. As evidence. <clears throat> we killed Dom. We gave Faith the money after the fight with the woodsman. Smashed his place up. Took his money for safekeeping. Old Georgie Porgy. Kicked down Greenleaf's door and uh, saved her tree. Ripped uh, Gren's arm off in the trip trap. And drank with him after Lily's funeral. Made a deal with Jack. Try to take Nerissa's ribbon off in Bigby's office. And with regards to Snow, took her with, uh, with us uh, to the trip trap. Showed her Crane's photograph. And promised to bring the crooked man back alive. Which we did. Tiny Tim chose to wait for him. Accepted TJ's gift and promised to give it to Snow. <laughs> and we slapped Toad during the interrogation in his apartment. But stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. And there ends the wolf among us. All in all, thoroughly enjoyable. Will this be the only one or will there be more to come in a season two? It remains to be seen. Hope you've enjoyed watching. And all that's left to say at this point is I'll see you soon. <laughs>